Okay, um, I thought I'd do a quick little um, tutorial on how to make pyrotechnic grade nitrocellulose lacquer. Now, <clears throat> you can use uh, you can use nitrocellulose lacquer for um, waterproofing of fuses. Um, you can also use it for priming um, as a as a prime dip. You can also use it as um, as a binder for your star compositions. Um, so anyway. I'm going to be making a 70 milliliter batch um, because I don't need much and you, it does go a long way. Um, so for this 70 milliliter batch, I'm going to need, um, you're going to want an airtight container. I'm using just a bog standard um, marmalade jar. And in here I have got 70 milliliters of this stuff. 100% pure acetone. I got this from a um, a um, hairdressing and nail um, beauty um, wholesalers. Um, this for two litres, it was about five quid, so very good. And you're going to need two um, reasonable quality ping pong balls. These are 40 mil ping pong balls, and I got these. I got these from Argos. Um, I got these are the balls. Um, that I got twelve for four pound, and they're in Argos, um, so cheap. Get them. And you're going to need something to cut them up. You can use scissors, or if you like me, you whiz them up in your coffee grinder. So anyway, what you want to do? is just get your ping pong balls and just cut them up just cut them up any old owl into, into fairly, if you're using a coffee grinder just want to cut them up into fairly reasonable sized chunks ok because a coffee grinder will do all the work But if you're cutting them, if you're not using a coffee grinder to, to grind them all up, you're going to want to grind them quite fine. Right, you want to cut them quite fine. But I'll show you um, how you want them. So anyway, move your coffee grinder. If I can get the bloody lid off. Okay, now just bung them in. Bung your pieces of your two ping pong balls in. And whizzle and whizzle away. Okay, I've just finished whizzing them all up. Uh, let me zoom in. So you can see what size they should be. And there you go. Let me just put some on my hand. And well, yeah, that's the sort of size that you should get them. Nice small sizes, just like that. Or you can do them smaller than that. Anyway, when you've got them to that, all you want to, all you've got to do now, is just get your jar with your 70 millilitres of acetone, open it up. And put every last little drop, every last little bit in it, and there you go. Now, you can either, the easiest way is just leave it overnight. Do it a quick little shake and just leave it overnight and it will all dissolve. Um, but if you want to, so like, for instance, watching TV or something, like casual E or what have you, if you just keep on shaking it like that, for about an hour to an hour and a half, it will gradually dissolve and it will get milkier and milkier. I don't know, that, that was just a quick thing, and until the whole lot's dissolved. So, like I said, I'm going to be um, leaving this overnight, um, but you can do what you want with yours. Um, so, anyway, um, we'll come back to it as soon as it's done.